There are a ton of free plugins for cheap ass producers like me. Uh, budget conscious producers like me. But because there are so many to choose from, when I first started producing, I didn't know which ones were actually good, which ones are worth using. So in this video, I will be talking about my top five free plugins that I actually use in my music that I've released on Spotify, Apple Music, and other streaming services. The last plugin is a little bit different. It's not an instrument or an EQ or a compressor or anything like that, but it's a plugin that made this whole video possible. So stick around to find out. One more note is that I currently use Ableton Live Lite, the free version that came with my keyboard. Not only is it missing a bunch of plugins that come with upgraded versions of Ableton, upgrade to full version, you cheap ass. What the f but it only has a maximum of eight tracks. But I've been making it work so far. And honestly, even if I had the full version of Ableton, I'd probably still be using some of the free plugins I'm about to mention. In no particular order, the first free plugin that I wanna shout out is Origin by Cymatics. It's a vintage tape simulator plugin that gives you that perfect lo-fi flavor. I use it in almost all of my music. I just throw it on guitar, on piano, keys, but you could use it on any instrument. I'm gonna play around with some guitar so you could hear it in action. So this is what it sounds like without the plugin. And let's just turn it on to the default, which is usually what I use. I just tweak it a little bit, depending on what I need. I know RC20 is the industry standard for that lo-fi vintage sound, and I'm sure it's better, but RC20 is $100, and Origin is $0. And using my Asian math skills, I can deduce with supreme certainty that, uh, yeah, zero is less than 100. Next up, let's talk about bass. My go-to is the Key Bass by Martinic. Martinic? Martinic. Trivia time, where's this bass root from? If the lo-fi king Eldre recommends a plugin, you know it's gotta be good. Okay, right now, right now, Keybase. It's a it's a free that is. plugin. It's called Keybase. K-E-E Bass. Love that bass. I'm using that in 90% of my beats. The default preset is already really good, but you can get into the settings and adjust it as you see fit. It also comes with a bunch of presets for just totally different sounds. You could even create these sort of synth sounds, which is pretty crazy. Just an FYI, I am not sponsored by any of these plugin companies, but I do want to give a shout out to DistroKid. You're welcome for the free advertising. When I was researching how to release my music out into the world, I found that DistroKid was the best option. So if you want to get your music on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, but also have it available on TikTok and Instagram Reels, sign up with my link in the description and get 7% off your first year. Again, not sponsored. I just really like DistroKid. And I'll also get 10 bucks if you use my link. As I mentioned before, I use Ableton Live Lite and the EQs it comes with are pretty limited. It doesn't even come with EQ8, which by all accounts is a great stock EQ, but even if it did, I would probably still use this next plugin. And that is Nova by Tokyo Don Records. Nova is a parallel dynamic EQ that also does multi-band compression. And if you have no idea what those words mean, I don't either? I mean, I know what EQ and compression is. I just don't think I could properly explain parallel and what are we here? We're, we're talking about free plugins here. Dynamic pentagram. What are we talking about here? Nova allows me to select specific frequencies and EQ accordingly. It also has a visualizer, which for me, who is overall a visual person, is a necessity. Next up is Spitfire Labs. Man, this plugin. Mike, how is this thing free? There are so many instrument packs to choose from and Spitfire releases new ones to this day. You can listen to all the instrument packs here on the Spitfire website. And there are just so many to choose from. My favorites are the tape piano and the vintage keys, which are perfect for lo-fi. I'm not that good at piano, I'm more of a guitar guy. You do need to install the Spitfire audio software to install the plugin and download the instruments, but uh, it's more than worth it. And the last free plugin that I wanna mention, like I said, this one's a bit different, but without this plugin, I couldn't do this video. If you have a similar setup like me and you have an interface that doesn't have loopback and you wanna screen record or live stream Ableton, you're gonna need Restream by Reaper. 
What you do is put Restream onto the massive track like this. And what it does is route all the audio out of Ableton to OBS. It does take a little bit of setting up on the OBS side, which could be a video on its own. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. So there you go. Those are some of my favorite free plugins that I use in my music. And look, there are a lot of really good free plugins out there. So if you have your favorites, comment below and I'll check them out. What I would really like to know is what free plugins the professionals are using, if they're using free plugins at all. So if you've been in the game for a bit, let me know how long you've been producing and what free plugins you use in the comments below. One more thing, I will be making a video of me producing a beat from scratch using all the plugins that I mentioned today. I will put a link in the description when that video is ready, but if you wanna get a heads up, go dap that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button and leave a comment below about anything really. Your favorite free plugins, your life story, your favorite Pokemon, whether a hot dog is a sandwich or not, whatever makes you happy. This is Taroza, T-A-R-R-O-Z-A. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to get your music on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Google Music, Google Music? Does anyone use Google Music? Google Play Music is no longer available. YouTube music, all right.